Okay, so you're recording now? Yes. Okay, we have here a top-lit draft stove, which has been created in a half a honey tin. I've cut a hole out of the honey tin there and sat in a stainless steel um, outer of uh, a flour sieve, which is what's down in there. It has some holes drilled in it to let air through. It's been brazed around the top, so it's sealed. And then in the side of the drum, we've got a computer fan standing off from here so the heat doesn't kill the computer fan, because heat kills them. And a connector and a speed control, which is just a 500 ohm potentiometer, terribly crude into a pulse width modulated fan, but you get that. Everyone can do it this way. And hopefully it'll start up. We've well, polarised it. No, speed control's now. Right. There we go. So that's blowing air into the drum and out these tiny little holes which bear down on the burning which you start at the top with being a top lit updraft. Now I can start it with fossil fuel tool like that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to start it with a ferrocerium rod. Ferrocerium being iron, magnesium, cerium, neodymium, presidymium, yttrium and a few other horrible things, but only available from China. A bit of tool steel, a, um, a hacksaw blade will work. And what I've got in there is some moth vine, which is a, a, a pest around here, but it, it makes beautiful tinder. And usually, it'll give you a flame straight away. There we go. Oh. It looks like I'm going to cheat and use the newspaper. What I'm trying to burn there is actually some hemp waste that I got from the show, so it's probably a mistake in trying that. Try again. I probably should be using biomass from the ground. But it's been raining here for months. So this is moth vine, very finely divided cellulose. Extremely flammable to even find a spark if I can get it to go in there. There we go. I'll be this along a bit. Once the fire starts, we'll get some ash at the top. Continue on the fan. Now you can feed this with any, any dry biomass, sticks, um, cardboard, split wood, and what I've got underneath there is a charge of charcoal that I've charred in a pyrolysis vessel, and I use charcoal because it burns a little bit cleaner and hotter, because I use this one for forging, I can forge half inch diameter steel on this one when it gets going, I think it's about 2 kilowatts running the flat out, but what we're doing this morning is making carbon negative coffee. We have a percolator and somewhere our standoff made from a coat hanger of course. In the true Australian tradition. Do it. There you go. So we just have to wait for it to cook up now. I hope it stays alive. 